What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the tank hero, Kufra. Kufra has a good set area of effect. Crowd control, blink, and buff skills. Our desert tyrant, Kufra, is a tank hero. I consider Kufra as a good crowd control tank, since most of his skills could either knock up, slow, or stun the enemies. His second skill will now be Fanny's greatest nightmare, since Kufra could knock Fanny up when she attempts to fly through Kufra. We will show you that later. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Kufra based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Kufra's passive, Spell Curse, lets his basic attack to increase its range every 12 seconds. The buffed basic attack deals magic damage equivalent to a percentage of his physical attack and a percentage of his max health. This buffed basic attack also slows down the target. Please take note that this buffed attack is considered a range attack. Meaning, dealing basic attack with this won't commit a splash damage. Unlike your usual basic attacks that deal splash damage. Upon dealing a basic attack with the buff from Spell Curse, Kufra restores a percentage of his max health. The cooldown of Spell Curse is reduced by a few seconds, each time Kufra's skills are used to crowd control enemy heroes. This includes knocking them up or stunning them. Our turret is under attack! Kufra's first skill, Tyrant Revenge. Let's Kufra launch himself towards the specified direction. The longer this skill is charged, the further Kufra could dash. But do take note that there is a maximum distance this skill could only travel. All enemy units hit along the way will receive physical damage, depending on a percentage of his max health points. The percentage count is dependent on his physical attack. When Kufra encounters an enemy hero, his dash stops and will deal physical damage depending on his max health to enemies around. And then also knocks them up. The same will happen when Kufra reaches his max distance, even without hitting enemy heroes. Take note that this skill can pass through walls. His second skill, Bouncing Ball. Let's Kufra wrap himself with his bandage and turns into a magical ball. State, his physical and magical defense is increased. Kufra can move during this state. He bounces for up to three times. Each time he hits the ground by bouncing, he deals magic damage equal to a percentage of his max health to nearby enemies. The percentage count is dependent on his physical attack. Enemies hit will have their move speed reduced. Executed. Another cool thing about this skill is, it knocks up enemies that tries to use blink skill to move across or towards Kufra. A good example with this would be Saber's second skill. As you can see, Saber is trying to dash towards Kufra, but he is knocked up instead. This also cancels the supposed to be damage of Saber's second skill. We will show more examples on the tips and tricks section. Kufra's ultimate skill, Tyrant Rage, pushes all enemies around him toward the front. To be precise, Kufra gathers the enemies within this skill's radius, and then pushes them towards the specified direction. This deals physical damage to the enemies, and slows them down for a few moments. If the enemies are pushed to the wall, they will receive extra physical damage which is around 150% of this skill's damage. Also, Instead of being slowed down, they will be stunned. What's this you have slain an 
There are so many items that you can buy for Kufra. You can either focus on physical or magic defense items. Or items that gives you high health points and a little of physical attack. Physical attack is somehow needed since this is included on the calculation of his skills. For me, I choose to buy items that grants health points to Kufra and slowing effects to the enemies. As for starting item, you can consider buying Wizard Boots. Wizard Boots grants additional health points and movement speed. Its unique passive grants 80 gold for every assist you make. Buying this will help you farm more gold with every assist. Buying defense items such as Thunder Belt grants health points, mana region, cooldown reduction, and physical defense. Its unique passive buffs the next basic attack after using a skill. The next basic attack will deal bonus attack damage, equivalent to a percentage of the target's max health. The enemy target and surrounding units are slowed for a short period. You might want to consider Wings of the Apocalypse Queen. This item grants physical attack, health points, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive reduces the damage taken by 50%, and increases your lifesteal by 30%. This unique passive activates when your health goes below 40%. This effect lasts for a few seconds. This unique passive has a long cooldown. You can consider buying either Cursed Helmet or Blade Armor. Buying any of these depends on the enemy's lineup. Buy Cursed Helmet when the enemies are more of magic damage dealers. Buy Blade Armor when the enemies are more of physical damage dealers. Cursed Helmet it gives you additional health points and magical defense. Its unique passive burns nearby targets with magic damage each second, depending on a percentage of their max health points. This unique passive deals extra damage to minions. On the other hand, Blade Armor grants you additional physical defense. Its unique passive deals 25% of the opponent's physical attack as physical damage to an attacker when a basic attack is received. It's just like returning a percentage of their attack to them. Another item to consider is Blade of the Hephthysis. This gives you additional health points and physical attack. Its unique passive lowers the target's physical defense by a certain amount when they are hit by your skills. The physical defense reduction is applied before your skill hits them. This defense reduction debuff lasts for a few seconds. Lastly, you can consider Sky Guardian Helmet. This grants you health points and health regeneration. Its unique passive grants you regeneration of a percentage of your health when you are do not receive any damage for 5 seconds. This regeneration is increased when upon killing enemy heroes or having an assist. The item build for Kufra really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in game. One of the best spell to be used on Kufra is Flicker. This can really help you blink yourself into your desired position, and use your crowd control skills for a more efficient team fight. For me, this is optional since Kufra has his first skill to blink in. But, just in case you miss the target, you have your handy dandy Flicker to make up to your error. You might also want to consider Petrify. This deals magic damage to surrounding enemies, and petrifies them for a few moments. This is really helpful since Kufra is a tank and is always inside team fights. Petrifying most of the enemies will help your team deal more damage while the enemies are petrified. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the custom tank emblem set. Custom tank emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a tank. Set vitality to its max level because it can give you additional health points. Higher health points means higher chance of survival during the early game. Setting Inspire to max level will provide cooldown reduction on your skills. Higher cooldown reduction means you can use your skills again faster than usual. Get attack and defense to gain additional physical and magic attack depending on a percentage of your health points. Remember that most Kufra's skills also depend on his physical attack. For me, it's the best thing to get since Kufra is also meant to smash the enemies. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the cooldown lower and the damage higher. That means, you can use this skill again faster to crowd control enemies and blink. Prioritize second skill less since his first skill is what you need for crowd control and blink. Always upgrade his ultimate skill when available for upgrading. I find Kufra's passive a good thing for slowing down enemies. This makes Kufra deal a buffed range basic attack. This slows down the enemy. 
and deals more damage to the target. The cooldown of this skill is reduced every time Kufra hits his crowd control skills to enemy heroes. The more you crowd control, the more you can use this passive. This just means more damage for you, more slowing effect for the enemy, and more healing for you. you have slain an enemy. Your first skill is what aids you to go inside team fights. With its capability to knock up enemies that were hit, this instantly gives your team the advantage. Since you can cast this skill from afar, this is greater than Flicker to be honest. Just make sure to aim properly for the knockup to work. His second skill is also a good thing during team fights. As I mentioned earlier, this cancels the damage and the dash or blink of an enemy when they attempt to dash or fly towards you or pass through you. We have shown you Saber before. Now, let me show if Fanny will be knocked up when she uses her cables towards me. And there goes Fanny. Her first skill wasn't even triggered even if she had a contact with me. Now, you might be wondering, what about ultimate skills that dashes or blinks? Well, we have Alpha here. Alpha is going to use his ultimate skill to dash towards us. Here he goes. As you can see, we didn't receive the damage from his ultimate. We just received the damage from his passive skill. Also, he was also knocked up and cancelled his dash wards or passed through us. Amazing, right? Now for his ultimate skill, this is cooler than any tank's ultimate. Just imagine that you can push all the enemies surrounding you in a direction. It's like having Tigreal's ultimate skill without even channeling. It's more effective when you push the enemies to the wall, since they will receive more damage and be stunned instead of just being slowed down. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, this is a good combo with Grok and Bidong. The Great Walls of China. Having them produce walls out of nowhere will help you stun the enemies more efficiently. Just imagine the enemies whining on how up they can be. Now, let's talk about his combo. In terms of team fights, I usually follow a combo for Kufra. First, I charge my first skill towards the enemies. It's better to hit lots of enemies. But it really depends on the situation. Then, when the charge is enough to hit the target, I release my first skill. This will let me dash towards them. Then, upon hitting them, they will be knocked up. Now, I use my ultimate skill to push the surrounding enemies behind me. This skill will gather the enemies for my team, so they can use other crowd control and area of effect skills more accurately. But it would be best if you can throw them to the wall, so that they will receive extra damage and stun effect. Then, I use my second skill to increase my defense, and deal damage inside the team fight. For my spell, it really depends on which part to use it. I use Petrify most of the time, and I use it when I'm in the magical ball mode. Or it could be just right after I use my ultimate skill. Additional tip, when you are trying to escape from enemies, use your first skill. With its long range, you can easily escape enemies, leaving them your dust. If ever it's cooldown, then use your second skill. This doesn't boost your movement speed, but this increases your defense. Your survival would be greater with this. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Kufra. This video just guides you on how to use Kufra the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Kufra. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the featured video on our channel for the mechanics. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers!